wanted to first look at is fixed price contracts. The concept is a contractor is paid for work completed based upon a pre-agreed or fixed price for the contracted work. Financial risk is on the contractor. In other words, the contractor must manage costs to stay within the agreed price. The standard method of contracting for commercial items and between commercial en entities. So what I mean by that is that in the commercial world, um, buying and selling of items, equipment, supplies, services, whatever it might be, commercial goods and services, fixed price contracts is the standard method of contracting. Absolutely the predominant method of contracting. So when we as institutions are working with commercial sponsors, they're normally thinking that they're and assuming just based on their experience that they're going to be issuing a fixed price contract to us. Uh, whether we as an institution can, can or are willing to accept that depends on the level of risk we're willing to take. And the reason I say that is because with a fixed price contract, if you don't deliver, you don't get paid. If you don't deliver on what you agree to deliver, you don't get paid because payment on a fixed price contract is tied to deliverables. If you are late with a deliverable, you may not get paid. And that can be problematic because uh, I know at our institution, we not all of our PIs always submit their, their reports, their technical reports or, or project deliverables exactly by the deadline that the sponsor is expecting and as described or required by the award document, by the contract. So depending on how the contract is worded, you may end up not getting paid or get, getting paid a reduced amount because the deliverable was late. So that's certainly a higher level of risk than most universities, I think, are accustomed to.